And tell it like it is Sports Talk Podcast with your host, Saint Superfan, So Saint, along with co host Mike Teasy, and last but not least, Hakeem the Dream. We talking Saints, we talking Pelicans, we talking Tigers, and much, much more. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And remember, nothing personal, it's just straight biz. We coming at you on Tell It Like It Is. Let's go! What's up? What's up, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? Welcome to another edition of Tell It Like It Is Sports Talk Podcast, where we don't sugarcoat shiznit. Just real talk from three real brothers. I'm your host, Soul Saint. And as usual, Saints plus Soul equals Super Bowl. Now, I know what y'all thinking. Y'all saying, what is Soul doing with a KC hat on? What is he doing? But let me tell y'all something. You remember back when, when uh, you know, people wear uniforms to work and stuff like that? And on Fridays or Thursdays, they'll have a dress down day. Okay, I wear black and gold, LSU, or Pelicans every time I get on the show. So this is my dress down day. I am a Patrick Mahomes fan. Just want y'all to know, and I'm a fan of the NFL. You know what I'm saying? But you see who watching me back there. Make sure I don't mess up. You know what I'm saying? I bleed black and gold. I bleed purple and gold. Y'all know that. And Pelicans. So, you know, hey, don't take this to offense, you know, and then and, and go crazy with that KC hat. Like I said, I'm a big Patrick Mahomes fan. That that dude there, he, hey, he is the man. But without any further ado, let me introduce my crew. Y'all know him. My boy in that rig, Mike Teasy. What's happening, baby? You know what I do? What's up, Mike? How you doing? Uh, what's up? I like that picture. I like that picture you got on there. Who is that dude with you? The guy that's wearing the Kansas City Chiefs hat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Hey. Uh, let me introduce my other partner in crime, man. Y'all know him up there in the dirty, dirty bird country, man. Hey, y'all know him, Charity Hospital, Third Ward. Hey, stand up, my boy, Hakeem the Dream. Wow, Third Ward, <laughs> stand up. What's going on? What's going on? Uh, 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 tell it like it is, sports talk family. You know what I'm saying? Love y'all as usual. Like, share subscribe we want everybody to know you know what i'm saying what we be talking about you know what i'm saying and all because of y'all y'all gonna help grow the whole thing it don't cost no money or anything just hit the like button you know what i'm saying let everybody know how we talk our shit. that includes y'all too because y'all comments get read by these other people and they see how we interact and therefore that make them want to go ahead and join in. so look Thank y'all. We love y'all. Y'all know how we get down. Let's let, let's spread the love with our, you know what I'm saying, sports talk family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's get it. Mark, what's up? No, Mark, I am not going to California for training camp. I am not going. No, no, I'm not going, Mark. 
You must you you going, Mo? I'm not going. I'm not going. But what's happening? Welcome to the show. Roy Jackson, what's up? What's going on, Roy? What's up, Roy? What's going on, Roy? My boy, Roy. That's right. Vinny. Hey, we we hear from Vinny all week. Yeah, look, yeah. But we 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 might need to add Vinny to the to, to, to the podcast, bro. Yeah, we be we be, yeah, we be discussing everything. What up, Vinny B? Yep. We're gonna have to bring him on, man. Mm-hmm. My boy said, no worries. I'm a CJ Stroud and Lamar Jackson fan. I hear you. I hear you. What's happening? What's happening? Bianca, what's up? What's up? Hey, what's up, B? What's up, B? But I love them saints. Hey, that's how I am, bro. We get mad with them, but we still love them. We bleed black and gold, bro. Uh, Mark said he going. I'm going. I'm a Saint season ticket holder, but I live in Las Vegas. Okay. Hey, so right. you, yeah, yeah, you right up the road. He says Saint season ticket holder and live in Las Vegas. He must have that paper. Oh, absolutely. That if he can afford to travel a like that. Fan. That is a committed fan right there. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Mark. Much respect to you. <laughs> Mark, Mark, I tell you what. You've been asking me about coming up there. Now, if you want a hey, send a brother a plane ticket, we can have a couple of drinks. Right I'll come up there, hey, and, and come to the camp with you, bro. You know, remember that. <laughs> What's up, Pat? Patrick, Mr. Mom, what's going on, doing, Pat? Sir? How you doing? My boy, William, cousin. What's happening? Riley. Riley. What he said, TZ, you should be at that ship. Oh, okay. Okay. He's talking about that. Mm -hmm. Hey, I want to give a uh, a heartfelt to all the people that lost somebody oh. with that bridge falling. We just want to say, you know, you're in our prayers and everything. You know, that was a catastrophe about in Baltimore mm -hmm. with that bridge uh, getting hit by the ship. Yeah, uh, looks was like it wasn't nobody's I, fault. Yes, sir. Just to give a testimony to that, um, I, which, I, which I share with you guys, I was actually on that bridge off of I-695 that night. Um, I, I was uh, going to Camden, New Jersey, and I was on that bridge at 11.30. That actually happened around 1 sub a.m. I was on it at 11.30 that night. So, and ironically, I'm, about, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm close to, I'm about 45 miles away from Baltimore right now. I'm heading back into Baltimore. Mm. Right now, yeah, so I'm in Maryland. I just jumped in. I just jumped. I'm right in Maryland right now, I'm on I ninety five. But of course, you know six ninety five is shut down. You know, yeah. so the bypass. Yep. You know, it's I heard the bypass. that was a bridge. The hazmat you know, I heard that, that, I heard was, that, major, that was a very important bridge. That was, yeah, it was very important. Major bridge. Eight is by nineteen miles long. It was a very important bridge. Very mm -hmm. important. Yes, um, what's up, B? That's my son, Brian Lambert. What's up? What's up? Will, oh, no, what's going on, Mr. Lambert? What's happening? I look Blue, forward to up, making Blue? everybody feel Blue, good. Blue, today. Blue. I am turned up teasing. <laughs> yep. I, make, I look forward to making everybody feel good today. I'm coming with nothing but positivity today. I'm not trying to piss nobody off today. <laughs> Tell it like and it I'm is, bro. Your boy, your boy Pat, I'm looking every week at y'all guys trash in my words. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> well, we gonna get hey, we gonna get right into it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we gonna get right into it, and um, yeah. let's get it on. Go ahead, Mike. Hit Mike. that like button. <laughs> hit the like button. Ahead, and please share. Please share if you like the videos mm -hmm. and like the content. Please share. Yeah, yeah man. We want yeah. all y'all to be on TV. Shoot, you know what all I'm right. saying? We. All right, here we go. We about to go. First of all, I want to talk about the biggest news to me, uh, um, biggest NFL news, and that is the new kickoff rule. Yes. I'm like, mm -hmm. ah, but it's a new kickoff rule. They're going to do it for 24 and see how they like it, and then we're going to yeah. move. If you don't know, I'm about to break it down to you. This is, the, this is how it's going to work. Okay, check it out. Listen, listen up close. All right, the setup under the new alignment, the kicker will line up alone by itself on his half mm -hmm. of the field and will kick mm -hmm. from the traditional spot. 
at the 35 yard line. Mm -hmm. All right. The other 21 players will line up at the opposite end of the field. The 10 other players on the kicking team will begin receiving, will, will be at the receiving team's 40 yard line. So this is going to look mm -hmm. crazy. So you're going to have to kick mm -hmm. on the 35. Yeah, and he's going to have to kick it. Mm -hmm. He's going to have his boys, the kicking team, line up on the 40 yard line of the receiving side. Mm -hmm. Separated by five yards from the blockers on the receiving mm -hmm. team, and mm -hmm. they got to have at least nine of the eleven players on the receiving team will lined up between the thirty-five and the thirty. Okay, mm -hmm. and that's going to be called a setup zone, and at least seven of those players must be on the thirty-five yard line. The receiving team is allowed as many as two returners, so you can have two men deep. All right, right. Mm -hmm. Now, check it out. The kick must land between the goal line and the 20-yard line to encourage returns. Kicks mm -hmm. into the end zone will be punished severely. The ball will be spotted at the 30. Kicks that hit the landing zone, remember I told you the, that that's 20 yards in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kicks that hit the landing zone, roll into the end zone, and are down there will be spotted at the 20. Kick short of the landing zone. Say you're going to make it to the landing zone, which probably will probably never happen. But say the ball mm -hmm. going to make it to the landing zone, which is the 20. That's going to be like kicking it out of bounds. It starts at the 40. Mm. So a kick <laughs> that falls in the landing zone must be returned. All right? Now, in the perspective tacklers on the kicking team and the blockers, they cannot move. Until they the ball move. is kicked up. Right. Until the returner touches the ball or it hits the ground. So when he kick it, everybody gonna be standing there. Yep. Ain't nobody gonna move. Then once the they returner gotta touches the ball, the, the new kickoff model is designed to resemble a play like from the line of scrimmage. All right. Mm -hmm. So and the crazy thing about it, uh onside kicks gonna be done the regular way. They're gonna be mm -hmm. done the regular way. So you have to worry about that. But what y'all think about this new rule, bro? That's that's some crazy shit we gonna see. Uh well, <laughs> um, actually, the NFL kind of copied what the US FL, the USFL was doing, the Rock Nim League. Mm -hmm. They were the ones who implemented it. And they mm -hmm. saw, you know what I'm saying, how it worked there. You know what I'm saying? There wasn't a lot of people who got hurt from the collisions. Because this is what they're trying to do. They're trying to avoid the the big collisions between, you know, what I'm saying the right. uh, you know the kicking team and the receiving team, yeah, right? So this is a way speed. running down, running full, down speed. full speed. Yeah, yeah, like you know, like King Kong and Godzilla about to meet at the fifty yard line. You did so, you know. I'm interested to see how it's gonna happen. I'm just glad that now. You know they're implementing the kickoff return into the game because that is that's always been a part of the sport of football like you know you know these kickers gonna kick the ball out the end zone every chance they get you know what i'm saying to bring it out to the 25 yard line now you know what i'm saying you could get to see some of the best athletes which are these return guys mm -hmm. go ahead and return the football and hey possibly make a big play you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying so and, um, you, and, you, and you'll be able to also see some good blocking because they yeah been yeah yeah each other. right right yeah you know? it's not a lot of room <laughs> it's not a lot of room <laughs> so everybody got to be on like like point you know what i'm saying so mm -hmm. um i'm just interested to see how it happened me i'm an old school guy i'd rather see how it was done in the 80s and right. the 90s hey look right. you know right, right. Bring you know what I'm they, saying? Are, they are changing the game every year bro yeah and, and and it's getting too soft in, in my opinion because you know i'm sure you probably got it on on the topic of sub you know the subject topics that we got but this whole you can't do the drop tackle thing no more like right you know that's come on people like the offense already has too many advantages as is you cannot hit them too hard because if you hit them too hard then that's you know considered a personal foul that that's you know the the, the defender gets uh, um he gets fined you know all this other stuff they already made it to where like they're they're taking too much of the physicality out of the sport 
And like Cam Jordan said, look, it's a barbaric sport. Right. This is what it's about. So, you know, um, yeah, it'd be it, I, I, I don't see I can see in 10 years it being flag football. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it just has to because, you know, anything that 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 has to do, you know, w- w- with the sport being at its most physical peak. You know, the NFL is trying to take it away and they're trying to make it too offensive. They want more points scored. I don't want the NFL to turn like uh, uh, arena football. I don't want to see 50, 45 games. I like to see de- defenses implement and impose their will on football game. It's OK to have a 21-17 game every now and then instead of a 42-38 game. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That's just me. I mean, you know what I'm saying? But, you know. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm on the wait and see basis with the rule change, though. But I'm glad they're implementing the return because that is a big part of the game of football. It always has been. What you think, Mike? Yeah, um, I'm glad that they, um, I, I do I do like, actually love it. I know they're trying to, like I said, they they had to make it softer uh, when it comes to rules and stuff like that. Them collisions and stuff on kickoffs and and stuff like that because of uh like you coming out of billions of dollars you got to pay families and stuff they 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 not they're not trying to have that no more you know so they gotta basically protect their neck on that um i i I actually like it because you're actually gonna see some people trying to return to football this year so i i actually like it i really do and um because it's amazing to me, Rashid Shaheed got all pro for just about a, like a like a handful of returns. He got all pro off a kick return. It <laughs> just mm-hmm. did a handful of them. And, yeah. you know, so. Right. You know, even mm-hmm. when I figured, you know, like, man, he ain't really do too much of nothing, you know, but mm-hmm. he got he got that, you know. And it wasn't like the Deontay, Deontay um, Harris all uh, year, you know, mm-hmm. but he, he, was, he was killing. He had like at least about, what, two or three returns for touchdowns that year. Mm-hmm. You know, but um, and the hip tackle, as far as my concern with that, I mean, you know, there's no advantages for a defender, bro. Like you, you telling guys to basically, God dang it, I'm sorry. Uh, you telling guys to make a split second decision on where to tackle somebody, right? When that's, basically the offensive guy can go low, go high, wherever he wants to do whatever he wants. And you, that yeah, you asking me to make a split second decision. You know what I'm saying? Don't hit him too high. Don't hit him here. I'm like, like, come on, man. So eventually what defenders are going to do, start chopping the knees. That's what they're going to start yep. doing. Just start chopping knees. Yep. Just start taking and, knees out. That's what yep. they're going to do. Start chopping and, the knees and, up. Absolutely. And and there'll be a lot more torn ACLs, and then they're going to yep. have to revisit all this other stuff. Now you're going to yep. have a lot start of the superstars. Chopping. Yeah, now you're going to have a lot of the superstar offensive players always on the shelf and stuff like that and now that's going to take a hit because of the you know what i'm saying what's going on like you said mike the nfl gonna have to pay these families of these gentlemen you know what i'm saying if their careers mm-hmm. are ended you know uh, uh extra insurance money and all this other kind of stuff so you know like like try to i think they the intent of a lot of this stuff is good but at the same time like you know you you don't want to change it too much because now you taking the roots out of what the game was supposed to be like, you right. know what I'm saying? And which made us love the sport that that is football. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you know, you you, you gotta. I I don't know, man. It's but like I said, I'm I'm on a wait and see basis. Maybe you know it it becomes. But the the hip tackle, I, I'm okay with the return rule. I want to see that. But the hip tackle thing. I just don't understand. Like, imagine if Demario Dave, if, if Derrick Henry is running at you. Derrick Henry is 6'2, 250 pounds. I'm 190 pounds. I'm pulsing a Debo. You mean to I, tell me you want me to take him on straight up? I'm six feet, 200 pounds. This guy is 6'2, 250. You know what I'm saying? I, but you're telling me the only way for me to get him to the ground with the football in his hand. Is if I square up with him head on yeah. and he's like a rhinoceros with the football, and I'm just supposed right. to go ahead and take that like a crash dummy. Here, here's here's the thing. 
this is it right here. This is this is where I think that that rule was just absolutely stupid because that tackle is from the back. Right. You know what I'm saying when you it's from the back. The yeah. From, you're trying to catch the uh, mm -hmm. uh, offensive player from the back. So what are what are we got as a defensive player? You're trying to let's say somebody get Alvin Kamara get a screenplay. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Let's just say let, let's just say you you got somebody Alvin Kamara go out with a screen. Nine times out of ten, usually you get tackled from the back, right? Mm -hmm. So when yeah, you because grab he's out in front. from the back, because that's basically what a hip tackle was. When you grab somebody from the back, they kind of just basically use their weight. You know, they weight and drive them down. So what mm -hmm. what what you want them to do now? Like if he running from somebody in pursuit for somebody right. in the back, what, what you want them to do now? They gonna start just taking legs off, bro. I'm telling you, that's what they finna just start doing. Just taking legs off. You finna just right. start taking and legs off, dog. That, 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 that's what you forced them to do. Ah, uh, yeah, it's and they unanimously voted on that's this. What I'm like, like all the rules people, all the 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 owners, all the the coaches, they unanimously voted on this. <laughs> like yeah. I, I'm saying, like. So you mean to tell me at no point, you know what I'm saying? If I'm trailing the guy with the foot, like, you know, I, I, I'm in a trail position. What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to try to shoestring tackle him at that point? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that, that's, I, 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 that's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Yeah, that's bro. crazy. And, and you know, but like I said, when it be some torn ACLs and MCLs, PCLs and meniscus and all that, mm -hmm, I'm going to hit them, mm -hmm. bro. What's, no next? What's gonna be next when that happens? You know, right. it's gonna be time ain't for no play. We have no choice. Like, what else is it for me to do? I can't be hurt my yeah. team getting 15 yard penalties and getting fired right. or possibly getting mm -hmm. kicked out the league. So I'm gonna just start taking out some knees. That's what I'm gonna start doing. Sure. Yeah, might as well. I mean, I, I gotta so help I'm my team do. win some kind of way. I mean, right. I gotta way. help my team some yeah. kind of way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a certain mm -hmm. way I got I gotta tackle the quarterback. I can't go low on him. I can't drive him to the ground. I can't grab him. Can't do nothing. Like, right. What yes. Me to do, man? Like this is crazy. NFL defenses crazy. are at such mm -hmm. a you know, disadvantage now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, right. Let them play, let them they know what they at risk of when they went in there and they're going to the NFL. Exactly. They know what they was at risk of. And a lot of guys say, man, if it was up to me, I'd do it again. Go ahead, yep. give them a waiver, tell them to sign a waiver. You know what I'm saying? Well, he mm -hmm. cover you and let them play real man football like we used to love back in the 80s and 90s. Let them right. Play. right. You know what? Mm -hmm. I I'm glad they got you too because I was watching the old game the other day, man, and I said, boy, half the stuff I saw on there is illegal now. You know, it's crazy. And and just like we're going back to this new rule on the kickoffs, um, you know, I know kickoff was boring. The last couple of years because nobody ran them back. It always every time I see the same, it just come up, and let the ball bounce mm -hmm. in the end zone. Nobody wanted to return, you know, because mm -hmm. they gifted them, putting them up at the 25 yard line. I mean, mm -hmm. why not? Why return mm -hmm. it when you get that that reward to go way up mm -hmm. there, on, you know, on a touchback? So, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, you think about the the Vasikahimas and Deion Sand and all the good returns you used to watch. That Dante day. Halls, yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. oh, man. Dante Hall, Mel, Devin, Mel Gray, Devin Mel Hesse. Gray for the Saints, right? Devin Hester, Mel Gray, way back, you know, in the yeah. Saints days. Uh, Quadri Ismail, uh, Rocket oh, Ismail. Glenn, I mean, oh, Glenn, oh, Glenn, oh, Glenn Milburn, Glenn Milburn, Glenn Milburn, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> you play with the Broncos. Yeah, Dante Hall, Kansas City. Hey, how about, yes. how about David Megan? Yeah. Yes, that was John Madden's yeah, favorite return guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was John Madden. Madden Michael Lewis and Tyrone uh, Hugh. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. you know, it, 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 it's it, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Yeah, man. I mean, like I said, I I I, I, I watched team? a lot of the U USFL last year. Hey, how you doing, uh, Mr. Mika? Oh, yeah. Um, you, you know, I, I, I watched a little bit of it. You was here. <laughs> I watched a lot of it from the USFL last year. I I I think I'm gonna like the kickoff. Um, I, I think I, I may be inclined to go ahead and give that one a, a an okay. It's just the but the drop hip tackle thing. That's that that's the one that's going. That's the one that kind of solved me. But I, the people who I were deciding, what, mm -hmm. I tell you what, 
you know how the structure is right now, how they got them lined up right there, pretty much, I think, it's like the 20 or 30, and you can't move until once the guy catches the ball. Oh, it's right. gonna be a lot of it's gonna be a lot of people getting burnt, getting touchdowns going on. I tell you that right oh, now. Oh yeah, because Over, they don't have a run and start. Right. Bone prediction. Right. prediction. Bone prediction. Right now, earn it. Bone prediction. It's gonna be five kickoff return touchdowns the first week of the, of the week race. one. Yep, <laughs> I can see it. It's gonna be five. I can see first it. First week. I can see it. I can see it. I can definitely see it. I'm telling you, somebody gonna go over and you know, usually they got a guy running a four three, got that ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Gone. <laughs> gonna be gonna gonna be out of there, man. And you know, one of the people that was yeah, because you got the guys, most of the guys, like ninety percent of the guys are already up there, basically up there. Just you know, usually if, if, if the front if they miss and they cut through, oh, they gone, baby. It's it's, they it's gone. gone, bro. They over. It, they it's over. over. It's, it's over. With tail lights, baby. Or kids on the yeah, man. man. Man, it's over. <laughs> But one of the guys that were on that committee was our special teams coach, Darren Rizzi. You know what I'm saying? He was him and another guy. And, yeah, you know, Darren yeah, Rizzi is one of the two. Right. Um, Darren Rizzi is one of the three best special teams coaches in the league. Don't be surprised that he he's going to be a head coach here in the next couple of years. Um, you know what I'm saying? Darren Rizzi is one of the best special teams coaches. So they kind of he he's one of the people that was on that committee to kind of come up with that idea. Not the drop hip tackle thing, but the special thing, you know, with the new kickoff and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I'm going to wait and see. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that that's a bad thing. But, you know, um, again, I think I'm more sour on the drop hip tackle thing, like, you know, than I am the kickoff. But I'm interested to see how it's going to work, though. But if you really yeah. want if you want a test run, the USFL is about to start here in April. Watch them because they do it. They, that's it's, who it's the NFL the stole UFL. it from. It's the UFL. The UFL. Yeah, the UFL. I'm sorry. Yeah, Watch how they do it. Watch some of their games. That's that's mm -hmm. what you're going to see. Because they were the ones who invented it. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what, Hakeem? I hope that this brings more attention to summer football and everything. USFL, I used to look in them stands, bro. It, it had oh, more, it's naked. They had more people at high school games. Oh, it's naked. You know? it's, it's, it's naked. It it's naked. Um, they're gonna do it. They're gonna do it like come, they gonna do it like for punch too, right? They're gonna uh -huh. do it for punch. They're gonna do it for punch too, right? For punting the ball, right? Uh, no, no. I think they say that the punt and, and everything is still. Um, I think the punt is is still fine. You know what I'm saying? Because you need gunners. Like you can't. Everybody just can't stand there and wait till the guy catch the ball. You know what All I'm right. saying on the punt because he will get too many yards on 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 every single play. Like he will field every punt knowing that he's gonna get a 40 yard return because of how late the start that the you know what I'm saying that the kick team will have to try to go down there and get him. Let but, me let me answer my impatient brother here. He said, Can you talk more about the Pelicans and the respect they deserve? Yes, we're gonna talk about the Pelicans, bro. Show just started. We always start with the <laughs> NFL and the Saints. We always start with the NFL and the Saints, brother. We're gonna, we gonna get to you, Aaron. We're gonna get to you. Uh -huh. But the, yeah, to answer your question, Aaron, they do deserve some respect, and we definitely, we definitely oh, yeah. talk about them. We all, we, talk about I, I, huge, we all huge Pelican fans. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. We we the. Mhm. Mm so, like I said, yeah, UFL ball starting at the end of the month. I hope it. You know, I hope it's something to watch. You know, until we get our NFL football back. <laughs> We're gonna have so, we so, it or We're gonna put somebody else back there. <laughs> and uh, you know, I hate I hate that New Orleans don't have a team. They was one of the teams they brought all some of the USFL teams and some of the XFL teams, and and New Orleans wasn't the ones that they kept with it. This, this is the issue. This this is the issue. It it's not to compete with the NFL. The, it, I, I don't I don't see that the the UF the US the the UFL growing. I'm gonna tell you why, because this is the meat of the NCAA tournament, and they competing with the NBA playoffs. All right. So if you had a choice to to watch Giannis, LeBron, or the UFL, what what you gonna do? <laughs> and unless, right now, unless you don't like basketball and you just unless you don't right, thing. right, 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 and the beginning of baseball, you know what I'm saying? So. Right. I don't football in the springtime just doesn't mix with me. I don't too much care for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm more of an NBA 
college baseball type guy. So, yeah. you know, I, I probably won't watch that. I mean, I'll watch them because they'll be on TV and be the only thing to watch. But, right. you know, this this is this, this play all time in the NBA, man, for the next two months. You know, that's what I focus going to be on. So, you know, but good luck to them, though. I mean, them brothers, you know, you might have a couple of brothers that'll get a shot at trying to make an NFL roster here in the fall. So, it's a good thing. Um, moving on to the Saints news. Uh, Saints, uh, not too much news to talk about. Um, but one thing I want to do, I, I, I do want to ask you guys, I know we still have time before the draft comes up, but just, just, just an idea of what y'all thinking. Uh, what do y'all think the Saints going to do at 14? What y'all going to do? Hey, Mike, you, 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 you want that one first, Mike? Because I might have to cook a little bit, bro. Mike, Mike, you want to go I'll, ahead? You want to go ahead? I'm offensive line. Yeah. I mean, I'm making sure I just leave. Oh, okay. Then. Offensive line. Oh, okay. Then. There you go. Okay. Now, I think yeah. they're yeah. going to they have to get offensive line. Um, Trevor Penning, you know, you don't know what you got there. Sal Barrett, you don't know what you have there. The only guys you got right, right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's a question most on them. And Eric McCoy and Cesar Ruiz. Uh, you know, Ramchick is not going to be back according to the reports. So, Andrew P. he's Same. gone. And, um, and Hurst, like I said, he's been inconsistent, you he know. Hurt. So, you are basically in a position where you got no choice. You got no to get choice. the best offensive lineman available. You got to develop him as a young rookie. And you don't have any money to basically like that to grab anybody from free agency. That's explaining that's the old problem that I've been talking to y'all about from the past. So you're gonna have some guys up here. You think they're called running for a life last year. <laughs> you <laughs> you're gonna wish you had a mobile quarterback now because you chose yeah, got a guy that's basically did. like a statue back there with a with a makeshift offensive line. So mm -hmm. You know, and then, like I say, what, what, what's really been hindering for the past couple of years is the running game. You're going to hurt Alvin Kamara, and plus, not only that, uh, Kendra Miller, you know, because you don't got an offensive line. So, it don't do a bit of good to have all these skilled position guys that, 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 that you consider explosive. But as soon as the quarterback trying to finish his drop step, he got two or three brothers in his face. So, mm -hmm. And then your running back's got to break like three or four tackles just to get to the line of scrimmage. Mm -hmm. you know, so I, it's a it's an ugly situation, but you got no choice. The first big definitely offensive line. All the all the dreams yeah. and aspirations of saying, hey, I get best player available, I get another wide receiver to replace Michael Thomas or something like that, or I can get, you know, probably just get some mm -hmm. shock value, get Jerry first or, 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 or Dallas Turner if they there. You can't do none mm -hmm. of that. It is the yeah. first priority. Your weakest yeah. position is the offensive line. Right. You have to address the mm -hmm. offensive line. We, got no choice. Yeah. yeah, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't uh, address that in free agency. So that is the biggest, biggest hole we have right now is the offensive line. Yeah, you only and, got two starters. You know, mm -hmm. you know, like you like, like Mike said, Trevor Pennant, he ain't been living up to uh, the hype. Uh, Ram Chat is a, is a mystery. He got a big question mark. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, y'all know. Uh, Derek Carr under pressure. We, we need to pr protect him. Cause, the you know, new Jim Everett. Anyway, so Derek anyway. Carr is the new Jim Everett. Absolutely. So <laughs> you know, uh, shout out, shout out to my home, shout out to the homie Vinny B. But we've been talking about this all week. You know, what I'm saying he's been hell bent on Dallas Turner, which I don't mind doing that because I think he's an explosive pass rusher. Although I do like Latu and Jared Verse better than him. Um. Mm -hmm. But when Ram, when the news came out about Ram, you know, what I'm saying possibly not playing this year, that 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 just automatically, you know, what I'm saying locked it in. We going offensive line at pick 14. Matter of fact, it might be better. It and it's be just right me still, talking. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, we might. It, it might be smart to actually trade. It might be smart to actually trade back to see if you can acquire a couple of more picks to go ahead and get, you know, get out of 14 and probably trade down to number 25 or something like that 
and get have somebody give you an extra second round pick. So therefore, we can get three picks in that top 100. And if you go two offensive linemen, then it's fine. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, uh, at this point, if you stay at 14, there's no way you can pass up on an offensive lineman at, at pick 14 because we don't have a starting left tackle, nor do we have a starting right tackle. So the protection plan has to be addressed first. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, if we had um, our guys, like Lee Boyd did a good job at left tackle this year. And if Ram Chase hey. didn't have that problem, we can yeah. go luxury. And we can mm -hmm. get, you know, we can look at a Brian mm -hmm. Thomas Jr. Or we can look mm -hmm. at a Browns at that pick. Mm -hmm. You know, you know some, some mm -hmm. more weapons for, uh, for that boy that we got behind center. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. we can't do that, you know? I mean, and the guy that we bought in from Minnesota that that's a free agent. What's up, Aaron? His pro What's up, Aaron? Um the guy that we bought in from Minnesota that was the free agent, his PFF grade is so bad. It's just like having another <laughs> James Hurst or, or Landon Young on the team. You know what I'm saying? Like like, you know, Udo, I guess that's his name from Minnesota. Yeah. Like he's terrible. Yeah, like, while like we he, he, last week, we're talking about we have a team. I said the first thing I said was trash, <laughs> trash, absolute trash. <laughs> yeah, man, he's awful. Like I said, we don't develop, we don't develop any talent. We don't develop mm -hmm. any talent. So you know, under Dennis Allen, whatever, you don't develop any talent. So it's really up to the player to have the maturity, to have the work ethic, and to have the drive. You know what I'm saying? To improve on their skill set, their strength, and, and, and they and they craft. Because your damn coach ain't gonna do it. He damn no, sure ain't sir. gonna motivate you to do it. He just as stale as two year old bread. So, <laughs> so um, uh -huh. like I said, don't develop any kind of talent, but you're gonna have to go all in on the offensive line. And that probably I hate to really say it, you know, even though it's early, maybe the downfall of the team because the offensive line is gonna be very really, really bad. You don't have the money. Mm -hmm. You just don't have the money. Yep. I, I, I kick it down the kick the can down the road, uh, you know, uh, uh philosophy every year. Restructure, restructure, restructure. And ball so money, ball can, money, ball. I've been talking, I've been talking about it for years, man. I've two been years. talking about it for years. I said two Drew years, Brees bro. last Drew Brees last two years. It was basically the inequality of the offensive line that got him yep. hurt. You know what I'm saying? Yep. With his thumb issue. And then, they, um, mm -hmm. you know, say the reason nearly got the man killed. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Got his ribs got cracked it. all up and broke up and punctured lung and all kind of stuff. Got the man killed. You know, yep. that's something they should have been addressed. Yep. That's something they should have been addressed. Damon got in there. He got hurt twice, back to back. Years. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That As a result of the offensive line. Said, I said the offensive line should have been something you should have been addressed. Guys wasn't playing up to that level potential. Andrews P getting people hurt. You should have been addressed that. But it all went downhill. You know what I'm saying? Even though he was in and out of Atlanta, but when he was in there, the offensive line was one of the best in the league, was solidified when Taryn Armstead was there. Yes, sir. You know, but I, I think he'll be in the same the ring of line. That they never could recover from when Taron yep. Armstead left from that offensive line. Yes, sir. When he played. He, mm hmm When he played. Because he was he hurt a lot, but when he played. Him. He on he was a Hall elite. of Fame trajectory right now, you know, because he's been yes, getting sir. all pro, pro Bowls with Miami right now. So, yep, you know. that's true. That is absolutely true, man. Yeah, them big balls up front is very important, man. Mm-hmm. We really? cannot run the success. ball to save our life, man. We cannot run the ball. We cannot. We we suck. Twenty-eight delayed blitzes suck. Oh my God! You we can't pick up a stunt. We get delayed blitz against. Oh my God! Oh my God! Yeah, deers in the headlights. Yeah, deers in the headlights. Mm -hmm. They don't communicate mm -hmm. with each other. It's like they're very inexperienced against a delayed blitz. I yep. said, "Oh my God!" And stunts. Mm -hmm. Don't get me started when the teams do stunts. Oh my God! Yeah, I especially with film, man. It's a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. A lot of mistakes. It's, especially in the interior with 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 McCoy. Yes. Ruiz and and yes. James Hurst, yeah, bro, they 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 look confused anytime a team stunt. 
So I agree, Brian. You know, now put that comment back up there. Let me see what Brian said because I agree with that first sentiment. But I hope the family can improve with the new coach step out. No, yeah, it won't man. It's in the head of the snake. It won't. It's in the head of the snake, so it won't. It will not. Well, it will not. I, I hope. I hope he gives. I hope some Clint of them guys, new guys, push him to Clint, to Clint the, Kubiak. The, 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 mm-hmm. Coach it's down. up to the it's up to the veterans, man. It's up, really up to the veterans. Um, mm-hmm. Cam Jordan, Mario Davis, Tyron Matthews. Mm-hmm. Uh, talk to the young to the young folks, man, and get them in the you know, and talk to them and stuff like that. You know, I, and, and and I hope I hope so. You know, I would like to have a veteran wide receiver, a veteran. But we got a lot of young guys. You know, I would like to have a veteran now. Yeah. You know, to uh, what about mm-hmm. what, what about um, your boy, bro? What about your boy from um, our LSU guy from, um, from the Ravens? No, from the Ravens. Um, from the Ravens, talking about Odell, yeah. talking about Odell, yeah. yeah. Nah, I, 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 I don't him. want Odell, I, I, I love him, yeah. But I, I, I but, want him but, in a better situation, he's I want him in a better right, situation. Right. He's not what you need right now. Odell, you know, we need somebody that's physical that can move the chains. Like, like we need a, a again, a Michael Thomas prototype type guy. Like on third down that you could throw the football to and he can he take a lick and move forward. Yeah, and move forward. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um somebody yeah, like durable, Odell. Durable. Durable. Yeah, somebody. yeah, yeah. You need, yeah. You need a chain mover. You need a chain mover. Either at wide receiver or at tight end. You know what I'm saying? If we could get our, a Laporta, a, a TJ Hawkinson type, you know, Bowers, a, a Mark man. Andrews type. Yeah. Bowers, yeah. Bowers is absolutely that. He's yeah, already he better been, than yeah, Juwan Johnson. Really you know, if mm-hmm. we would have got an opportunity to get Brock Bowers, because I would have loved to have Brock yep. Bowers, but Absolutely. Even, look, y'all. Terrific even though, athlete. All that, all yeah. a pipe dream, so, now, let me you ask y'all a question. Even line. though, even though we need an offensive lineman, if Brock Bowers was dead for a team, yeah, you want you still want to take him? I, I, I would I want to take him. Most, I think you'd be the most talented tight end on the roster. That's I just say, I just say, effort. I will take him. I will take it. We, we I, would said, love, I would love to have him. I, I, really, we can I would do. love to have him. So, but it's it's but the, the old line is just too so bad, bro. It, it's, 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 it's bad. too. You you can't. It's up. We already ignore. right. Like we we know how bad Derek Carr is right now with with a so so O line. If you bring him out there with a suicide O line, you know, then it's 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 really you know it, it really goes downhill from there. Um, yeah, of maybe. course, no, nah, don't Brian get it wrong. Said, Brock Brian Bowers. Said, what about that six four guy we have? Talking about Jawan Johnson. Jawan's not consistent enough for me. Jawan is a big wide receiver, bro. Yeah. And when he came into the league, that's what he was. A big wide receiver. He was he was he was kind of Marston, Marcus Colston like. Not Marcus Colston, but Mar- Marcus Colston like more beefier than Marcus though. Yeah, but he's a little bit more beefier than Marcus, and he, he doesn't have the consist like game in, game out. You know what I'm saying? He's not there. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's due to injury, whether it's due to play, you know what I'm saying? He'll have his flashes in the pan where he'll have two touchdown catches, and you say, Oh, I see the po- I, I I see the potential, but that's not there every week. Just you know what I'm consistent. saying? Just he's not just consistent. not consistent, and he drops very, a lot of very, passes very that very I think he can catch. When you're very predictable, and I mean, he's more of a guy that's like a project at that position. Yeah, uh, you still developing him. He's mm-hmm. not a complete, he's he's not, not a complete no, tight end. That you know? not that oh, you talking about At Perry? You talking about At Perry? Yeah, he's a wide receiver. He a wide receiver, Brian. I like him. Yeah, At Perry. A.T. Perry and Rasheed Shaheed are our new Debra. But, but Jimmy Graham. Yeah. A.T. Yeah. Perry and Rasheed Shaheed are our new Debra Henderson and Robert yeah. Meacham. Yeah. That's what they are. Right. right. They A.T. and, and Shaheed are the new Debra Henderson and, and, and Robert Meacham. You need <laughs> you need a Marcus Colson. Like, you know what I'm saying? You need that physical guy like, you know, 6'3", 6'4". 
that's going to take a lick, get his head knocked off, you know what I'm saying, and move the chain. That's big shoes to fill, Brian. Yeah. yeah. Very big. If we, we had an old line. We talking about 120 plus catch guy with 1,300 yeah. yards. That's big for mm-hmm. a second like year play. Eight touchdowns, that's, that's, a, that's a lot to ask for that young man. Yeah. Um, you know, and make big catches, you know what I'm saying, in traffic, in the paint. I think he got the potential mm-hmm. to do so. But mm-hmm. to be in that position, you know, you got to show me a lot more. And I think they still basically saying that he may be a fourth guy on the roster. You know, not. Right. Not a two. Not even. But not a two. Picked yeah. up Cedric Wilson. Yeah. 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 Not even picked you know, up Cedric guy, Wilson. The guy too. I've been hearing rave reviews about, you know, is uh, a keen guy. Keon or oh, Xavier Cole. Leggett. Yes, sir. Perfect fit. He got a different skill. He got a different skill set than At Bear. At Bear may be a big guy, but he's not physical. He's nope. just not physical at the point of the attack, from what I see. He's a uh, He's a gazelle. You know, Keon mm-hmm. Coleman is very good. Ask the LSU you know, DBs about Keon Coleman. <laughs> he's very good. Like, he's and, physical. Real physical. And, A.G. Perry is more finesse. You know, he's not mm-hmm. physical to be a point of the attack. But yeah. Keon is very good. Brendan Six Rice four. is good. Yes. Xavier Leggett. So yes. Mm-hmm. You know, Absolutely. You're going to need that. A big possession guy, yeah. you're going to need that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sure will. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, but Brian, I will say this though. I will say this. At Perry is gonna have an opportunity. He's gonna absolutely. have an opportunity to showcase that. He he will because he showed enough flash. Because you got to address the offensive line. You have to address mm-hmm. the offensive line. So he's gonna have an opportunity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. So yes, that sir. is true. Um. Moving on, um, you know, I was I've been watching uh, a lot of the programs, the sports programs, all week with the debates on Caleb versus Jaden. Who's gonna go first? Who y'all think should be should go first? So I'm gonna ask my guys, and, and I'm gonna give my answer. You know, Jaden, Caleb. Who goes first? I do, you think, going. do you think they should go first? That's the point. I, 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 yeah, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm going to be honest. Like, I know a lot of people are, are not high on Caleb because of the stuff that he says and stuff like that. But, you know, I, I'm not buying into the Patrick Mahomes hype. But, right. Do you, you believe know, that? I, they say Caleb no, is the no, next no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I, I, I mean, I'm not saying that the kid is not talented, but you know, as far as all the quarterbacks that are in the draft, you know, I, I, I would take him. You know, what I'm saying number one. Now, um, you know, in a dream scenario, you know, talk thinking about my team, I would want Jaden Daniel. Uh, I think Jaden Daniels is, you know, probably the most dynamic of all the quarterbacks. Um, cause he gives you the total package as far as yeah, being able friend. to, yes, he's a full, full sprinter. He has great touch on the football pinpoint accuracy. Um, he's, I ain't gonna lie to me. He, he's the next, he's the next Randall Cunningham. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I have to go back. I, I, I yes. have to go back. I, I don't want to compare him to Lamar Jackson because, me personally, I think that there's some things that he does better than Lamar Jackson right I think now. He got better now. touch than Lamar Jackson. Don't yes, think yes. He got better touch. Thank you, Mike. Amen. I, I, I you know, I, I believe that. You know, what I'm saying, and I know Lamar got two MVPs, but you just have to watch enough football to understand what we're talking about. Throwing the football on time. You know, what I'm saying, throwing guys open. Jaden Daniels is definitely that guy. He's the next Randall Cunningham. But, um, you know, if the Bears do would take Jaden Daniels, it'll kind of be like, you know, a reach or a stretch. But the safe pick is, is probably to go Caleb. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I do think Caleb's a, a, a very talented guy. Yeah. But, so you think, you you know, think Caleb is more NFL ready, would you say? Yeah. You know why? Because of the guy that he his head coach. You got to understand who his head coach was and who his head coach has put in the league. 
his head coach has put in the uh, uh you know Baker Mayfield in the league. Um, you know what I'm saying? He put Jalen Hurts in the league. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if there's one thing that Lincoln Riley is good at besides losing big games, it is he can develop a quarterback. You know what I'm saying? And those guys have had, you know, a a a, a certain level of success in the league. You know what I'm saying? I think Jalen Hurts more than Baker Mayfield, but nonetheless, they're both starting quarterbacks in the National Football League. So, yeah. you know, I, 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 I trust that. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say Caleb Williams is, you know, he, he's, he's the number one pick. I'm going to go second. I'm going to go second. I'm in Baltimore, second. America. I, I really think I might be a little biased, but just, just That's watching. Okay. Um, That's okay. You know, I watch a lot of their games. I watch a lot of Caleb's games. I just went back mm-hmm. and looked at them, the highlights mm-hmm. and everything. And I, you know, me myself, um, I just watched how a quarterback with no defense kept a whole team on his back. You know, this guy here, uh, Jaden Daniels, man. And, you know, and, and I look at and to me, even his offensive line wasn't that great. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the running game that we had wasn't that great. And, you know, he just mm-hmm. did it all, bro. And I look at the touch he had on the deep throws. You know, mm-hmm. that, that's that's amazing. I never saw a guy that have that they can run like a gazelle, you know, mm-hmm. and it looked like it's just effortless. You know, I mm-hmm. would love to have that. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I just think the upside coming to uh, NFL, coming to the NFL, man, he need to gain a little more meat on his bones. You know, I think he's he's really small. Yeah, he's a- he showed he's durable because he took a lot of hits. He took mm-hmm. some serious hits. He took a lot of punishment, you know. But you don't want that for him in the NFL, though. But this is what this would have happened. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Me, you know, mm-hmm. I feel like he's talented enough to where you can change him into what you need him to be. But he just has all mm-hmm. the intangibles. He has all those. The, he just he's just gifted, you know. I would just mm-hmm. take. I would just hey, whoever gets him. I mean, they, they, Washington they be Commanders. Yeah. They're gonna be see, getting a good see, uh, quarterback. I, I I have to give the Bears some credit though, even though they 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 are a franchise that that normally ruins quarterbacks because they do. Um, you know, um, they did set up whoever they're gonna draft at number one. They did set him up with a pretty good you know plate of players. Uh, DJ Moore is there. Um, they they got Cole commit. Um, yes. they just traded, they just traded for Keenan Allen. Yes. Um, the running back, uh, 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 they got DeAndre Swift. So he's yes. not, they, they did their homework. They, they, they knew they like, look, we can't get this wrong. If you choose, if you choose the wrong quarterback, your franchise is set back five years, bro. Yeah. Five whole years. You know what I'm saying? So they yeah. have to get this right. You know Keith, what I'm saying? Keith, yeah. Let me ask you something right, right quick. You say set yes, back five years. So Chicago, they mm-hmm. not really set back five years, and they pick Fields, but look at them now. This, this is what Fields, what second or third year? No, nah, this is fourth. I mean, no. Well, yeah, this this will be his fourth year. It, yeah, if he this going into his. this year before, right? Yeah, he yeah. He was yeah. yeah he got drafted in twenty one. So, yeah. Look, and, and, and Chicago's sitting pretty right now. But I think they dra- always happen. But, but this is the thing, though. Remember who they drafted one before him? Yeah. Mitchell Trubisky. <laughs> Look how that turned. <laughs> and what I'm saying, Look how many teams, the, how many teams that Mitchell right. Trubisky done been on right now? Yeah, man. But, yeah. you know, I, yeah. I mean, you know, the Bears, I think they, they know they got to get this one right, man. So they, they did actually make a few moves to go ahead and set this brother up for success. Um, so I, I, I think he'll be OK in Chicago if they keep if they keep that core together. I think he'll be OK in Chicago. And I don't mind Jaden Daniels going to the commanders only because he has a good offensive mind there. Cliff Kingsbury will be his offensive coordinator over there in Washington. Now, he didn't have success as a head coach with the Arizona Cardinals, but that's because he had Mighty Mouse as a quarterback, a guy that he wanted. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? But Jaden Daniels is not Mighty Mouse. 
you know, he does have a number one receiver over there, another Ohio State guy. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, 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 you know, but I think Jaden Daniels, you know, if he goes to Washington, it, it's going to take him a couple of years to go ahead and get right. But I think, you know, with the new regime and stuff like that, they'll probably set him up better than, you know what I'm saying, Sam Howell had over there, you know. So what you think, Mike? Um, I like Caleb Williams. I, I really do. Uh, either of the yeah, the guy players. is talented, but his demeanor kind of throw me off a little bit. His demeanor, absolutely. You know, absolutely. He, mm-hmm. You know, he acting like he already a, a six year superstar in the in the NFL already. He gonna get a rude awakening. Uh, oh yeah. Like I say, I seen him in big games. How he mm-hmm. played. Especially when guys make a jump. And like I said, he did lose against Tulane, did he? Did he not? Oh yeah, he did. Um, you know, and uh everybody's still, you know, stricken by Jaden Jaden Daniels at LSU because I do believe we would have won the national championship if we had a mediocre defense, we would have won the national championship. I, I really honestly believe that. Um uh, mm-hmm. Jaden is bigger, six foot four to six more. Mm-hmm. Uh Looked like he gained some weight too. He was like 220. They said he mm-hmm. was about 220. Uh, and he can spin That's it. Gonna help. Everybody know he can spin it. He can spin That's that thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do want him in the right situation. I don't want him in New England. New England has no weapons, has nothing. They will ruin you know, him. Let Drake May go there. It will, it will kill him, bro. Just like they did Mac Jones, just like Justin mm-hmm. Fields got done in when he was in Chicago. Mm-hmm. I, I don't. I don't want him in that situation. I'd rather him at Washington and, and one of the teams that definitely like, you know, that I think you're trying to make a power play to get him is Minnesota. Minnesota, all mm-hmm. uh, like, oh boy, you know, man, they got them two first round picks. Him with JJ oh, and Addison, Lord have mercy. Mm-hmm. JJ and uh, Lord have mercy, and then they got Aaron oh, Jones. Lord, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Minnesota, Lord have mercy. That looks good. That looks good. Yo, that looks I, fantastic. I think Caleb Williams is the top top five guy, but I I I pick Jaden Daniels definitely over over uh, Caleb Williams. Me too. So, and I thought and that one, was a beautiful thing. I thought one, that was a beautiful thing he did at the camp today, having a Greg Brooks jersey. Greg Brooks jersey. Yeah. Brain, they got brain uh, yeah. counselors. Yeah. So I thought that yep. was beautiful. I, mm-hmm. I, I shared a tear when I saw that, bro. That was Absolutely. that's what you want to see right there. The leadership and yeah. challenge was the. The heart and stuff like that. I said that's that's what mm-hmm. you want to see. You want to see that right now. Taylor Ray yeah. showed me that. Taylor shout Ray out. showed me that. And uh shout out to my guys, the uh in the Malik neighbors. He ran a four three five, so he raised his stock a little bit. Um remember remember Brian Brian Thomas Jr. Thomas. ran a four three three. So both mm-hmm. of them four three eight. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, they solidified they day one pitch. They solidified that. <laughs> yes, sir. It's amazing. Hey, yes, sir. Hey, what, hey, what they call LSU wide receiver university, boy. <laughs> we we, we right. putting them up. And it's they amazing. got some more coming down the pipe. They got some more coming amazing. down the pipe. Yes, sir. They it's got amazing, a few more bro. coming down the pipe, too. It ain't going to stop. Yep. Yep. It's it ain't going to stop. It's crazy, man. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yep. Shout out to them guys, man. Um, mm-hmm. <clears throat> Moving on, moving on. I guess we can go ahead and talk about our pals right now before we talk about our Lady Tigers. Yes, sir. Uh, we'll talk about the Pelicans right quick. Pelicans had a heartbreaker last night. Uh, they were down by 20 against the number two team in the West. Good fight uh, back, though. Then they Good fought, fight they, back, they, though. They, 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 they fought back, came back from the deficit, was up by three. Yep. And, um, and didn't score no more. Really, some bad I ain't gonna say bad coach coaching but yeah no 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 so you're right nope don't don't go off that you are absolutely <laughs> correct you are absolutely correct the we got three. up those three points right yeah Zion Williamson did not touch the basketball in the last three minutes oh my god Zion was sitting on 29 points 10 rebounds and six assists how does he not touch the bat, Willie? This is this is where you killed me at, Willie. I I I I I have been with you, bro. Like hey. I don't want. 
but you have killed us in clutch situations, bro. CJ dribbling like, you know, one, two, one, two, one. When CJ, yeah. when you see CJ out there trying to create a shot with like five seconds left, you know the play done broke down. Didn't, didn't, didn't draw up no, didn't draw up no play. It's just straight ISO ball. Nothing. Didn't draw up no play. It's, yeah, Mike, I was like, no, bro. I like, come on. Game long, you want him, if you want to play ISO ball, you give it to the guy that's eating. Get the big line. That's right. That's right. And if he draws a double team, he can kick it. And Trey is out there to go ahead and snipe. CJ out there to go ahead and snipe. But you sitting up there, you know, you letting CJ dribble, 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 trying to run the pick and roll with him. I'm like, oh, come on, bro. And, and, and you know, bro, I mean, why not give it to Zion, bro? You have a chance see to what he can do. Right. Play. You have a chance yeah. to see him to the line. He's shooting yeah. better at the free throw. He's shooting better at the yeah. free throw line. I mean, come on, bro. We got to go inside and, and, and put them in trouble. That's coaching. Bro. That's, that's, that's coaching, coaching, bro. Brother. That's coaching. That's, coaching, that, 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 that's, that's why I said don't. Oh, yeah. You got a talent to Rossi. You got an opportunity that you should have been top five in the West. So all ain't day. No excuse for it. Hey, hey, all day, bro. Like look. Yeah, I like the matchup with anybody in the West, my pal. Any matchup. Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm hmm. But 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 Willie Willie has shown a propensity. I think the the Pels lead the NBA in most losses with five points or less or something like that. They got yeah. they've lost like seventeen games this year by five points or less or something like that. You know so what's that tell you? That's lack that's lack of execution down the stretch. From what, from what they also got man, the most we need a point 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 so bad, That's crazy. They almost got the yeah. most twenty point win. <laughs> yep, and I think not but, having a not having a floor general, a real floor general, that was hurt. That is that's what hurt. it is, Mike. We don't have a, a we don't bad, we don't, don't have nobody that can set him up, right? We don't have no, and you know what else I don't get? I mean, I, I'm gonna get into more detail with this. Larry, I love Larry, man, but Larry played 33 minutes last night. Why is Jon Jonas did not get off the bench in the second half? How many second chance points did He's OKC get? They don't have nobody to stick him. I and right and 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 Chet because Chet Holmgren's not physical, right? You know what I'm saying? Now I get right. it. Some nights Jonas is going to lose based off the fact that he doesn't have the foot. If he get called the pick and roll, he barbecue chicken. I get it. But what he I gives you on the offensive end? But what he gives you on the offensive end? Yes, what he gives you on the offensive end, he can. He's a very good. He's the team's best rebounder, and he's the only guy that we could throw the ball to in the post that can actually get a bucket. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's just like I don't understand. He plays Larry. Larry is six seven and a half. He plays right. small ball like Larry. You know what I'm saying? Larry don't have that much length. Like that works sometimes when you're playing against smaller teams, but on a team like OKC that don't have no size. You go ahead and beat him up with Jonas. You know what I'm saying? Jonas is like an anvil down there, you know? And I think that cost us a game. And this is about to be murder's row, bro. The next couple of games, we got Milwaukee tomorrow and the Celtics come to town Sunday. You oh know what God. I'm saying? Oh, oh I mean, not Sunday, but Saturday. Yeah. Oh like, God. like, bro. <laughs> I'm going tomorrow. I'm going tomorrow to see Milwaukee. And then yeah, Sunday, man. we got the Celtics. Uh, Monday. No, Saturday. 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 Yeah. Saturday, we got the Celtics. Now, this is the thing. The Mavericks are on the heater right now. The Mavericks are one ten, nine out of ten games. They only one game behind us. You know what I'm saying? The Mavericks are only That's one game, game behind us. That's, That's a big, big bug. All these games got, down the stretch is big. Yeah, bro. We can't go on no two, three game losing streak. We're going to find ourselves back man, in the dog on plane. We shouldn't be, we should be playing in no damn playing game. No, sir. And that's that. why and that's why Willie Green has not gotten an extension. His contract is up at the end of this season. I think yeah, I the, think I think the because, uh, you know, they, yeah. they got some talent on this team, man. Yeah, bro. This team is too healthy, too down, talented. I just need me a damn point guard, bro. That's all I need. Yep. My boy, yep. hey, my boy Glenn called me up and he was screaming. He said, <laughs> Man, what is Willie Green doing? Why Zion ain't touching the ball? He was at the game. <laughs> The last three minutes, he did not. That's they ridiculous. did not run a set for him, bro. That is like absolutely he, ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Oh, 
Let him you create something for somebody. Way. You couldn't set a screen and roll. You couldn't do nothing to get a man nothing. involved. Nothing, bro. You sitting up there weren't. I mean, you letting <laughs> CJ dribble, 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 and it's just like, oh my God, no. Uh, and shooting up prayer balls, man. You can't. You can't win like that. And what you got coming in here on Thursday and Saturday, you damn sure ain't gonna be able to do that without bi. No. You play right to their hands, playing ISO ball. You play it right to yes, their hands. When you walk in Boston, when you do that, you play right yep. in their hands. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, and, and by we the way, bi bi is looking good. He's walking without a limp. Um, no crutches, no boots. Still two like weeks that. away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Still two weeks out though, but like we cannot sign. afford. Remember how we remember how we used to say he'll be evaluated in two weeks, but that right. doesn't mean he's gonna play. <laughs> he's gonna play in two weeks. Right. 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 You know, um, like I said, man, the Mavericks, you know, we need Philadelphia to do us a favor tonight and beat these Clippers because the Clippers are half a game up on us right now, you know, for the fourth seed. So hopefully uh, uh, Philly can hold on. They winning right now. Philly can hold on and give us, you know, a hand. But we got to handle our betting. We cannot go on a one, two, three game losing streak because we'll be wound up in, in six, seven plays in the yeah, doggone play. Absolutely and, not. And, and, and this team is too damn good to be in the in the playing for the you third know what in a row. I want the playoffs. Who that? I want the Kings. I want Sacramento. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We oh, beat yeah. them four times this year. Oh yeah. We I, beat I, them I four times this year. I yes, indeed. Matchup. I like that yep. matchup. Yep. I and they're in seven play. Mm-hmm. I want them. Oh yeah. I want the Kings. Oh yeah. Yep. I, I love that matchup. Yes, indeed. We, I we, like they, that one too. So we they damn kryptonite, boy. Oh yeah, that yes, was sir. Oh yeah, them kings. We they kryptonite. They don't like playing us. They don't want to see us, bro. They don't want to see, us. and they got a nice squad too, cause they they just beat up on um. No, like no, no. Dallas. I don't like to play against Dallas too. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't know if I want that one though. No. I, I, I don't know if I. I don't know if I want that one, brother. And I'll tell you why. We can whack down to down. Put Herb Jones on it. Put Herb on him and get that. My boy DJ Daniels. Oh yeah, we got some big wings. Uh, uh, talking right? about Dyson? Dyson, Dyson talking about Dyson? Dyson. Dyson. Ah, bro, Ky- Kyrie, Kyrie, a different animal though, bro. Sometimes Dyson. even with her, they gonna get they gonna get Sometimes with her, they gonna be top heavy. They gonna be top mm-hmm. heavy. We can get them, man. We can get them. Cause they ain't got no answer for Zion. They ain't got no answer for Jonah. Mm-hmm. You know, and you but, already know, like I said, they don't play no defense like that. So CJ can go off a couple games. He can get about twenty-four points. And you already know BI is gonna be a cheat code on them. We can yeah. we can beat them, man. I like the matchup. I like the matchup. I, 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 I don't like that man. I like the matchup. I, I, I don't. I, I'm not that confident I mean, now because I know it's seventy. Sacramento, Sacramento yeah. Them? Sacramento. Well, offensively they are. Yes, you're right. Yeah, offensively so, they are. But Sacramento play better defense than the than Dallas do. Yeah, but but when you got two guys that can get you seventy every night, I'm talking between but the two of them. We can wear them down. They, they ain't gonna be able to do that or do on the entire series. We can wear them down a little bit. Well, th- we this is what I'm saying. That way they gotta play defense. They gonna wear them down. Well, yeah, they 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 gonna have to play us too. You know what I'm saying? But it we, when it comes down to crunch time minutes, with it, I mean, oh, I, be, I trust Luca. I we trust Luca more people, with the basketball, and I we do CJ, gotta, bro. We just got to defend the three. We got to defend the three against them. We can beat them down, people, bro. We got to defend mm-hmm. the three against Dallas. We're two Tim and two Hardaway against them. With Tim Hardaway yeah. Jr., you got to watch him, bro, because he, he gets hot. Yeah. Like a oh, yeah. Yeah. But we he had 37 the last time we played him. I feel real confident. Whooping their ass, Dallas ass, Sacramento ass, and the Clippers ass. I feel real confident. Definitely the Clippers. I like the Clippers, but I, I I love the way we match up against the Clippers. We 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 do right. well. I I will take that one. This this is okay. what we got. This is what we got left, y'all. We got ten games left. We got the we got the uh the Bucks tomorrow. We got the Celtics Saturday. Mm-hmm. Monday we got the Suns. One of two games, yeah. Then we got somebody, <laughs> somebody we can't beat. I don't know why the magic. So yep. we got the Bucks. I ain't beat them in three years. Magic. Ain't beat them in three years. All Orlando four. Magic. Uh-huh. Bucks, Murder's Celtics, Row. Sons and Magic. That's if we can yep. get past this at least maybe two and two. 
yeah, I think we did that's good. the goal. That's the goal, going two and two in these next four games. If we go two and two, we good. You know what yep. I'm saying? Like, like, like we 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 can hold serve because we got to play the Suns again you, in yep. Phoenix. You play the Spurs, you play uh, Wimby, or whatever, mm-hmm. Wimby or whatever the name is. Uh huh. Uh huh. You got the Spurs, then you got the Pelicans again. The okay. Trailblazers, mm-hmm. the Kings, the Warriors, and then the Lakers on the road, and all those games are on the road, and that's what I'm saying. Like you know. And then we come home to play the Lakers the last game of the season. And that game may mean something because the Lakers are in the play-in right now. So, you know, yeah, it might come down to that. You know, um, yeah, it's murderous row. These last 10 games are going to be tough, bro. It's going to be tough. These it's last 10 going to be tough. Be right before this stretch. Yeah. You know? I mean, they could beat a couple of those teams. I mean, but it's just you, – you, you can't have situations like you had last night. You got to close the deal, bro. Because OKC, OKC is tied for first place in the Western Conference. Right. They ain't no slouch. They 50 and 21. Yeah. Them young boys are balling, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right now for, uh, for, for MVP. MVP. Absolutely. Yeah, he lead the league in scoring. Play. He's leading the league in scoring. Yes. The ball, the yes. Ball, the ball nice, man. Ball nice. And Absolutely. He plays defense. He plays yes, defense. he does. Yes, he does. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I'm just looking at this. All these teams, the only team we make a beat, and then they scare. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, man, the league is in good hands. The man. And the Once the retire, everybody Kevin else retire, Steph Curry the retire. The league is in good hands. They got some damn good young talent out there, man. Yeah. Oh yes, indeed, Anthony got some damn Edwards. Good young talent out there, bro. Anthony, Anthony Edwards, Shea Gilgis, uh, Luca, oh Luca Johnson. Uh, 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 you right, yeah, man. Devin you Booker. Booker. You're right. Man, William, we got man down there, William. Nah, William, we got, I'm, trying we got him, I'm trying to <laughs> tell him, Will. I'm trying to tell him, Will. He got to understand got how the Mavericks on his eagle right now. <laughs> man, look, 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 like I say, I understand, Mike. I understand, you, little brother. Keep attacking, man. Yeah. What up, Will? Hey, what's, what's up, dude? What's up, Will? I'm taking all bets. I'm taking all bets. If we face, if we face the Clippers, the Mavs. And the damn uh Sacramento Kings, Kings I'm taking all bets. I like the Clippers bets. and Kings. I don't think we match up well with the man. Notice, notice, notice the games that I'm you not too goddamn confident against What's because it's something about veteran superstar players that my damn team starting to choke. If we face LeBron or Kevin Durant or Stephen Curry, I don't like it. Oh yeah. Like oh yeah. Hell no. Like right. Right. We get punked. We 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 get punked every time we play the Lakers. It's sad, I bro. Don't like it. Uh, no. <laughs> we get punk. We get punk, big time That's punk. Like Kevin Durant, I'm like, damn it, damn it. Nah, bro, Devin, Devin Booker see my Pelicans and say, nah, I got fifty tonight. The last two times he done played the Pels, he scored fifty nine and fifty two points. That's the last two times he's played the Pels. He scores fifty nine and fifty two. The last game they played, he had fifty two. Man. He really don't like us. Yeah, bro. Book, book, <laughs> whoo. Book see us and like, oh, yeah, it's cash money tonight. Yeah, they got something against us. Book, book, and <laughs> he do. Book ain't nothing nice, boy, against us. That joker, <laughs> that joker be, that joker be saying a John Legend every time he come out there. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what he got against one on, bro. Night. I'm know ready what. to go right now. <laughs> you know. He a light skin brother. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you know. Maybe he he got a little Cajun in him. He had a little 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 woman down here that did him wrong or something. I don't know. But uh, right. Devin Booker, he be clowning on us, bro. That Devin Booker. He from Missi- he, he from Mississippi, so he from Gulfport, Mississippi, him, bro. So yeah, he from Gulfport. Like it's people from Gulfport, Mississippi. So yeah, he might it, it might be something like that. We don't know. Damn, bro, so bad, bro. What we do to you? He had like 40 in the first half the last time they played us, bro. I was like, what the hell is going on? He yeah. got a little, Levi got a little joke for us. He said, what does a what does team team fan do when his team has won the NBA the time? Five. He he turn off the five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> That's <good. laughs> Turn off PlayStation Five. That's what's up, bro. Oh, 
Yeah, that's a I good like one, that. bro. So, like moving that. on, moving on to the next. Uh, the next is my girls, man. Hey. Let me just say that the last three games have not been easy, but they have overcome a lot of stuff, and uh, they they have won those games, and it's not gonna get no easier. This week they got UCLA, and hey, and yes. guess what? And Colorado, that is the longest team. Colorado is coming. Oh look, no, Colorado gonna do us a favor. Colorado is gonna do us a favor. I hate oh, the yeah, fact Colorado, that we. Yeah, they gotta play Iowa. Yeah, so if they, I hate the fact that. My thing was, I wanted us to play the second game. I didn't want us to play the first game. I wanted to see Colorado and Iowa first, but instead they put LSU I and know, UCLA on first at one o'clock. But I mean, it, it's fine. But, you know, doing the scouting report, UCLA is a good team. They're a very long team. They got four girls. Okay, Lauren Bess is 6'7", and then they got three other girls that's 6'5". So Angel and Anissa Morrow, my babies, they're going to have a tough time with the link. The key to winning this game is going to be our girl, Flaw. Haley, hopefully she, you know what I'm saying, hopefully she don't stay at the hotel. Haley and Michaela, they're going to oh, be God. the keys to victory, our guards. Because Angel, trust me, it, it's not so much that, you know, because Angel's not what you call necessarily a score. Angel does a lot of the dirty work and gets her yeah, points, right? right? You know, she... Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's Windex. She wipes, yeah, she yeah, wipes the glass. Right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she, she, yeah. she missed the put it. She, you know? she missed the put it back up. You know what I'm saying? She yeah, glass, she missed the put it back, put it back up. up. Right, wax right. On. But, I but you miss wax on, wax off. That was a deep. Miss wax on, wax off. Yeah, yeah bro. Kiki Rice is gonna be a problem. Kiki Rice. Oh, bro. Kiki Rice is cold. That's the little guard that they got on their team, and she is lightning quick. Yes, indeed. So, uh, you know, Haley, I'm going to pray for you because that's going to be your matchup. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I I think we lose that matchup. They're going to have to switch it but, up. Put Michaela Williams. Yeah, they're going to have to. Michaela Williams. They're going to have to switch it up, bro. Or, or either have poor. She's going to have to against uh, uh, quick guards. That girl, I, I, oh, absolutely. She got a absolutely. against Colorado. Oh, yeah. Sherrod. What's, what's, Sherrod what, hey, ran. Yeah, King, what's our point going yeah. name again? Um, Last kill, Paul? Last no, tempo? No, the one we Haley. got the point guard, but she's really a shooting shooting guard. Haley Van Lith. Yeah, Haley Lith. Van Lith. Now, let me tell mm -hmm. you about Lith. The last couple of games, she's been showing a lot of lateral quickness. She's been doing mm -hmm. well. Since since that Colorado girl ran circles around her, she's been doing mm -hmm. a little better. As uh, as she's been up and down. But she's been up and down. She I'm gives hoping, effort. She just can't do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah she hoping, gives effort. I'm just hoping that Colorado can soften Iowa up just like South Carolina did last year for us. You know, yeah, I, I would like Flaw J. I would I like Flaw J. Like. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm putting I on. Like Flaw I'm putting on Flaw. Yeah, I, I want Big Four on. Yeah, Flaw J. <laughs> I like Flaw Yeah, I want Big Flaw Four on. Flaw J. Yeah. Well, Flaw is. Flaw is like I mean, Herb Jones with a jump. So bad, bro. Like, Haley be like two steps behind, man. And, and yeah. that's bad. She get lost like that when they got the ball in their hand, bro. Bro, like, I'm yeah, like, yeah, God. Mike. Yeah, bro. I mean, she tries. She tries, but she just does not have the feet. You know what I'm saying? Like she gives the effort, but she just yeah, does would, not I have the feet. Clay, I was hate to see her in front of Caitlin Clark. I would hate. I would really oh. would hate that. To me, oh, she's been boy. doing a little better. You know. No, yeah, like mm -hmm. I said, she gives the effort, but but it's just. Yeah. It's all for not, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. she don't, she can't fight over screens. It's like, you know, I don't know. Like a terrific, last, she's a terrific offensive player. Yeah, like if she, she can get a good screen, look, set shot, mm -hmm. shoot off the dribble. Oh, she nice. Yeah. Oh, she nice. But yeah, man. But uh, Lauren Betts at six. I mean, UCLA is long. Like they're very long. But like, like, like brother said, Kiki Rice though. Man, watch that. Ooh, huh. ooh. Roger, Roger took over last game, though. Oh, yeah. She, she was the reason we won that. She was the reason we got that. I love her leadership. I love her leadership. Yeah. Yes, indeed. But Big my baby, came like, to play, like bro. Saying, so my baby's going to hold it down, baby. We are gonna got, we got <laughs> Windex and Miss Clean up in there. That's right. Windex oh, yeah. and Miss Clean. Yeah. Damn That's right. Miss Clean, Miss Clean. We got Windex ne and Miss Clean up there. Now Neesh the clean, beast. Baby. Trying to limit their ass to one possession, baby. That's it. That's going to be the key. 
That is going to be the key. Limit him to one I'm possession, rebound in the basketball. I know you see my girl got that pick and pop and needs a and pick and pop. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. At 12, she shoot three. Yes, yeah, sir. She's she shooting three. Pick and pop. Yeah. <laughs> needs, needs the beast, boy. Needs the beast. Yeah, yeah man. But so you, I okay, think Colorado. Right Baby, say just sit mm -hmm. right <laughs> But, um, to be honest with you, Colorado is the weakest one seed of of all the number one seeds. Like, like if you watch, like last night, if you watch that West Virginia game that they played, uh, uh, they really robbed West Virginia. Like West Virginia didn't shoot no free throws in the second half. Oh, wow. at least I didn't see. They didn't shoot hey. no free throws and lost that I game by six. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask a question. What happened to Kateri yeah. Poole from last year? Oh, she got kicked. She got kicked off the team. How come? Huh, coach? Huh, and Coach Market got into it. What happened was, for, now I, I got a little cousin that, that go to LSU, you know what I'm saying? So this is what the talking heads have said. Like, she ain't got no inside information, but, you know, it's just the word around campus. What happened was they was in practice, and Kateri was going at Haley, and, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, just had her frustrated, not necessarily going at her like she wanted to cuss her out or fight or anything like that. She was going at her and frustrating her, and, and Haley had a bad practice. You know what I'm saying? So Coach Mulkey was trying to tell her to lighten up. And then she was like, nah, I, I'm trying to make her better. And then Coach Mulkey said something else to her. And then she went to Coach Mulkey and yelled at Coach Mulkey in her face. And that, that's when Coach Mulkey was like, no, you got to go. Yeah. I, I mean, I thought so she that, told that, 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 that was, was the little, story. I don't, I don't, right. Right. I always thought she was a little chubby, you know, to me. Mm -hmm. you know? Oh, but, but she, she was our Draymond, though. She was our Draymond. She did right. all the dirty work from the guard position. We miss her now. As bad as we need guards now, we miss her now. That's right. for sure. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but she she she's um yeah, she hit the transfer portal last week too. So she's not even coming back. Like and, it, uh, this is also old. one more thing. Me and Hakeem was talking about it, and uh Mike uh uh the new girl that we just got, uh she had a year off, but she's a six five point guard. Her name is Jersey, Jersey Wolfenberg. Wolfenberg. Now yep. Tell me, is she white? What y'all think? Half breed. Jersey. She half breed. Half half breed. Half breed. I looked at her highlights. They look well, but but like Hakeem said, she had a problem at Arkansas. Mm -hmm. uh, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't even play, play last year. Yeah, and she didn't play mm -hmm. last year. But nope. Maybe she. Hey, never never know, bro. A new atmosphere, new team, a winning team. You never mm -hmm. know. Well, I mean, you know, seeing as being that Coach Malky you know, only signed somebody, one player. Gone. Yeah. <laughs> she only signed one player in next year's class, and that's the number one player in Louisiana, Jada Rashard, the little point guard who averaged 26 a game. So she's going to have to hit the portal real hard. Um, I don't have any inside information on this, but I think, personally, I think Angel's gone. I think Angel Reese is out of there after this year. Um you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it's just been too many press conferences where she has thrown out, you know what I'm saying, stuff like my NIL money can follow me wherever I go, which is true because she got 17 NIL deals. You know well, what I'm Lisa, saying? Not, no, she's a red shirt. Saint, like she's oh, a red okay. shirt junior. She's a red shirt junior. She got one more year, but I think she's out of there. I mean, she got yeah. Goldman Sachs, Mercedes. She got Raising Canes. The girl got 17 NIL deal. That's why she got $1.8 million. It's not about her staying in, in school to get NIL money. Those deals are going to follow her. So I think she's just ready to just be a professional, not necessarily a, a WNBA professional. I think she's just ready to be a professional in life. Like, you know, she don't want to go to school no more and take classes and, you know, all that kind of stuff. She, she wants to live the adult life now. She wants to be a right. supermodel. Super and, you know, she yeah. got, yeah, she got, she got makeup uh, deals with um mat makeup and all this other stuff. So she's just ready to get to that part of our life. So, King, you don't mm -hmm. think she's going to WNBA? Yeah, no, she's going to go to the, that's what I mean. She's, she's going to go to the WNBA. But what I'm saying is she's not going to the WNBA because she, it, it's about money. I think she's just ready to be a professional in life. She has so many NIL deals that can follow her once she leave LSU. Like, she doesn't need to be at LSU to get her money. 
You know what I'm saying? Like all the stuff that she got going on. Like, like I said, she got Goldman Sachs. She got a uh, 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 Shaq gave a, a deal with Reebok. You know what I'm saying? Like the girl got. It's not about the money. It's just about. I think she's just ready to get out of Baton Rouge. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and go and live the adult life wherever her adult life takes her. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know, that's just my own personal, uh, you know, opinion. I don't think that she comes market, back. Like the LA, the uh, LA Sparks or something, you know? Maybe, because they got a projected going number seven, and whoever have the number seven pick, that's who's going to get it. So it's not because you only, the, uh, the average WNBA player only makes $78,000 a year. Yeah. They're just doing again, that for, for fun. They yeah. Doing, that, that, at this point. I mean, damn. I mean, Ice Cube just set up here and offered Caitlin Clark five million dollars to play in the in the big three. Did y'all see that? Oh, yeah. He just five did that today. Five million dollars. He offered Caitlin Clark five million dollars for her to play in the big three next year. What's up, Steve? Where you been? Steve been hot. Yeah, wow. Steve. She going. She she definitely going to see the world, bro. I mean, she. I think she's ready. You know, I think she's ready to go. That's crazy. Wow. Well, oh man. Woo! We had a good show today. Uh, we talked about a lot of good stuff, man. Um, we thank everybody for uh for joining in. Yes. And uh um, thank y'all, sports talk and, family. And like, yep, and like Hakeem say, please like, share, subscribe, share, subscribe. Um, you know, um, one thing I like to talk about right quick. Um, you know, my soul St. Cruz is coming up, uh, it's all locked up. So whoever's going is going, whoever's not got to wait till next year. But, uh, also we got something big coming up. My boy MJ just was on here. Um, he's got a big show coming up June 21st. Tickets are, are on sale right now. Uh, Ticketmaster. Also, you can inbox me. I have hard tickets that you can buy also. Or you can just go through Ticketmaster and get your tickets. Uh, we have a big two-hour show at the Fillmore in Harrah's New Orleans. Um, it seats a 1,000 people. We're going to try to fill that. We're going to try to fill it. Hey, we're going to try to sell this out. That's why we advertise it now. Get your tickets. You know, um, the seating is great no matter where you sit inside the Fillmore. Uh, MJ Nola and the Dangerous Crew is going down. This is uh hey, I don't know if y'all ever saw Michael Jackson in Bucharest or one of his big concerts, but this is how this is gonna be lights, smoke, everything. Hey, it's gonna be all there, man. Y'all need to check this out. It is it's family friendly, so man, all the kids can come, your kids, uh grandmother, grandfather, uncle, aunt, everybody, everybody can come and check out this show. It's gonna be a, a blast, man. It's going to be a blast. Uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be epic. So come check it out. Come check it out. Yes, sir. Go support also, that. Also, uh, I wanted to talk about boxing right quick before we go. Mike, you know, me, me and Mike, love, uh, Hakeem love boxing too. Um, uh, Mike Tyson and your boy, what's the dude name? Uh, the, the Jake Paul. Logan Paul, Jake Paul, whatever. Yeah. Jake Paul. <laughs> yeah. I mean... You know, and, that, and let me ask you, I mean, I don't think, I think Mike would have to get rid of this dude early. I mean, Mike still look good. Let me show y'all Mike, bro. Look at Mike, bro. Mike still look good, bro. You know what I'm saying? That, that's And that's mm -hmm. uh, that's three, about two, two and a half, three years ago, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, he still was looking like that. You know, he's 50 plus. <laughs> 57. Right. 57. No more than 50 plus. 57, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's 50 plus. I ain't want to tell a man age. <laughs> 57, bro. Mike. Yeah, yeah man. I mean, he I can knock us out. He can knock us out, but shit. I don't know about Jake Paul, Paul, bro. Yeah, man. What y'all think about Logan Paul, bro? You think he had Jake any Paul. kind of skills? The boy legit, man. Look at some of the people he done knocked out. Like some of these dudes are MMA fighters who, you know oh, what I'm saying? Know. Like, I ain't saying, he, I ain't, he, he ain't he no punk. When he fought Tyson Fury, brother, which is a pure boss, he got a, he got a L. He lost. You know, so it's yeah. the reason why he always constantly picking MMA fighters. 
you know, right, you're not right. really because you know that they can't right. You're not yeah. getting real natural traditional purist boxers. You, you know, that's right, crazy. right. You know, yeah. And, you know, he, yeah. He, when, he, when he do get a fight, a, a purist boxer, you know, he he fights somebody that can be old enough to be a dad. Right. Yeah, that's true. Okay. That's true, though. I think that's what he, true. I think that boy, 26, 27 years old, something like that. And, mm -hmm. You know, yeah. And Mike is 57 years old, you know, about 30 years older than him. So, yeah, you know, Mike that's... catch him is a wrap. And the yeah, boy, for sure. the best, he got the best defense in the world, either. So, show it on. You know, he, 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 he so moves he with nice, his hands. He got, a nice, he got a nice right hand, you know, and, mm -hmm. you know, he, he can punch, he can crack, you know, mm -hmm. but, you know, Mike got to knock his ass out, bro. Like real yeah. talk, gotta knock his ass out. And Mike, <laughs> um, you know Ron Sherfer was on here, but he ain't really said nothing too stupid. But I got something for him. Whenever he make a dumbass comment, I'm gonna put this on him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put yeah. that on. I got that just for Ron Sherfer. If you hear me, Ron, mm -hmm. hey, that, that that that's gonna be your your thing. Whenever you put up. Something crazy, bro. But uh, hey, man, I thank y'all uh, for for being able. Mike, you on that road working, but he always there. You know, he always there. Please for be us. saved, yeah. brother. Yep, yep. You always please be saved, us. man. I'll be yep. back on camera soon. Um, uh, I'm going to Richmond, Virginia tonight, so I'll be in Richmond tonight. Richmond, Virginia. Hakeem, yes, sir. I'm your I'm comfort in your house. You know, I appreciate you, bro. <laughs> what that say? I like big butts, huh? All right. Oh yeah, bro. <laughs> ladies, <laughs> ladies, <laughs> females. Yes, yes, females. So you know, you got to get specific because well, we yeah, we know you guys know. Right? Well, I know y'all know. <laughs> I know y'all know, but you got some of us that's always trying to be funny. All about the jokey joke. No, yeah, just, just, just know. Yeah, this, this is right. yeah. Right. Hmm. Right. Yeah. Hey, with that being said, I want y'all to know it's nothing personal. It's always straight. Always biz. straight. Biz. See you next week on <laughs> Tell, Tell It Like, like it, it Is. is. <laughs> like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all, family. Y'all be good. That, Appreciate y'all. Tell It Like It Is crew draft coverage. It's going down, baby. It's going down. Yes. In a month. That's right. We're going to be we'll there. See, hey, we'll see y'all next week. Love y'all. Yes, sir. Love y'all. Y'all be what good. Going be out. What we going out on? Louisiana Die Hard, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, Tiger. <laughs> Come on, Tiger. It's the beef freeze. Shut it all down. down.
dance to something you can't touch now. Running up the score game day with the touchdown. Play all rounds, soon to be champions of us now. So you can believe that we gon' get it in Yeah, it's our favorite season Pass it to me, I'ma pass it back Shoot the ball 4, 3, 2, 1 Switch, y'all and, and, and I don't never miss, y'all We got another big hit, y'all You got Jay the Wizard You got Soul Saints You got King Mike going hard in the paint Don't think that we gon' ever fall Cause season after season All we do is great ball yeah.